Peace. Infinite waters diving deep once again. We are out here in nature, baby. We've got the birds as our DJ. Are you an old soul? 12 ways old souls experience life differently. Let's just... Woo! Breathing in that good ass prana, baby. Now, I connect with a lot of old souls. I always meet a lot of people whenever I'm walking around who are like infinite waters. And I'm like, I look into their eyes and I'm like, old soul, old soul. It's beautiful when you are an old soul, but you are experiencing life a little bit differently. We ain't even had breakfast yet. Can I get a hello? <laughs> Let me share with you what's helped me along my journey. I grew up an old soul. I was five years old and I felt like 5,000 years old. What's happening to me, mom? Nobody knows. An old soul is a soul that remembers past incarnations on planet Earth. Ever get the feeling like, hey, I've been here before. Sometimes you're just so drawn to a country, a land, a culture. And then you're like, wait a minute. Yes, planet Earth is so familiar. We are all old souls. It's just that an old soul is someone that can remember that <laughs> we are eternal. <laughs> What's the first way? Old souls live life differently. Now, as a deep diver, connecting with a lot of very, very deep people, <laughs> I can tell you this. No watch right now. They lose track of time. Old souls don't see time at all. <laughs> what day is it today? What time is it? They lose track of time completely because man-made time is an illusion. And a lot of us, we get trapped in man-made time, linear time. For many old souls, time does not exist. And that's why they call old souls free spirits. There is only now. What is the second way old souls experience life differently? They remember their past lives. Now, I remember being in Egypt. I was a prince. That's why this channel used to be called Kemet Prince One. And then I'm like, okay, okay, let me, let me change it to infinite waters because I'm at the next level right now. But if you are constantly remembering <laughs> your past lives, that is a sign you are an old soul coming back for part two. <laughs> Many old souls remember being in specific regions on planet Earth. I remember being in South America, and that's why I can speak Portuguese fluently. It came easy. I've always had a passion for Bossa Nova. I remember being in Egypt. I've been to Egypt a lot of times, and whenever I'm by the pyramids, I'm like, Let's just, woo, I'm by the pyramids, baby. I remember actually doing that one time, right? By the pyramids, okay? It's all coming back. You see, many people on the planet are in a state of amnesia. You have forgotten your true power, that you are an infinite being. And many old souls actually remember <laughs> their true infinite power and they draw strength from their past lives. Every incarnation, we are working on ourselves to become our greatest version. You start off from where you left off. Slow motion this side. 
<laughs> what is the third way old souls experience life differently? Old souls embody what Marcus Aurelius said, the great philosopher. Whatever we do now echoes on into eternity. <laughs> Whatever we do now echoes on into eternity. Like that is an old soul's motto. Many old souls are so familiar, so aware that <laughs> we are just constantly incarnating in different bodies that how we live now will affect our next incarnation. Are you being kind or are you being mean? You've got to live with that. You've got to take all of the energy you are embodying right now into the next life. In ancient times, they knew that human beings were immortal because energy can never be destroyed. It can only be transferred. So old souls live differently in the way that they're more mindful of how they treat people, how they treat themselves, because they realize you can't escape from planet Earth. We are always going to be constantly incarnating to learn lessons because this is a giant universe city. <laughs> What's the fourth way old souls live life differently? Now, I'm on the beach a few days ago with two beautiful old souls. One is a Pisces. I'm a Pisces, by the way. The other one's a Scorpio. And we're just like, this is so rare. I'm so thankful. Like, we're all so thankful we found each other again. <laughs> and then we started to laugh and even laugh at planet Earth, all three of us, and think like, wow. A lot of us take life so seriously. Get a job, study, get married, <laughs> retire. We take life very seriously, pay those bills. And a lot of us don't really enjoy life. And all of the old souls I encounter, <laughs> they know how to laugh at themselves. They're not taking life so seriously because they realize this is a holographic universe. This is like a cosmic game, a cosmic journey. It's not that serious. In fact, it doesn't even matter because quantum physicists show us that matter does not even exist. Mm. Slow motion this side. Mm. <laughs> Are you taking your life way too seriously? Make friends with an old soul, okay? Because they will help you laugh at yourself to realize we are on planet Earth to have fun. First and foremost, to be free, not to think, oh my gosh, I gotta be in a constant state of stress 24 seven. No, you are here to have fun, to be whatever expression you want of yourself right here, right now. So ease up, relax those muscles. I'm filming you. What is the fifth way old souls experience life differently? Now, what's helped me along my journey growing up as an old soul and a lot of Pisceans are old souls, I'm biased. <laughs> Seven day vegan challenge. Shout out to everybody with asparagus in their mouth right now. I just had a beautiful smoothie yesterday. What was inside, Ralph? Kale, ginger, pineapple, maca powder, ginseng, ginger. What else, Ralph? Chia seeds. Oh my gosh, Ralph. Acai powder. Oh my gosh, Ralph. Vanilla powder. Yeah, it was pretty awesome. A lot of antioxidants. Now, if you are an old soul, <laughs> you know whatever goes around comes around. And that's why a lot of old souls are vegetarian, they're vegan, or they are eating a plant-based diet, a raw food diet every single day. Because they realize whatever, whatever 
whatever goes around comes around. Old souls know that we can't get away with anything. Everything is recorded in the Akashic Records, which is the universal encyclopedia. Whatever you do now will stay with you. You will have to face it sometime or another. So many old souls are honoring all life forms. You see, that takes a lot of evolution to say, actually, a cow may just want to stay alive. Who am I to take a life when I can't create a life? Slow motion this side. <laughs> so a lot of old souls are very mindful of eating a karma-free diet, plant-based diet, fruits, vegetables, and they love their friends. Not only cats or dogs, but also cows, pigs, chickens. They are friends to old souls because old souls know that you have to honor all life forms to go to the next level of consciousness, which is awareness. What is the sixth way old souls experience life differently? Many old souls are very, very, no, no, no very ahead of their time. I remember <laughs> being 15, thinking like, gosh, I feel like 50. Because my friends were telling me that, hey, Ralph, you're so deep. And I'm like, actually, I'm not that deep. This is normal for me. Like, this is totally normal for me, okay? If you are ahead of your time, if you feel like you are ahead of your time, you are an old soul, and that's how old souls experience life differently. They are always one step ahead of the game. Their eyes are wide open, their pineal gland is activated, their third eye is buzzing. They are ahead of their time. These are the pioneers. These are the scientists like Nikola Tesla. These are the great physicians like Imhotep from ancient Egypt, right? Ahead of their time blessing the world with new inventions, creations, and discoveries, okay? It's a beautiful gift to be an old soul. What is the seventh way? <laughs> old souls experience life differently. Many old souls find it difficult sometimes to fit into society. They don't want to be put in a mold. They don't want to be changed. They want to be free. And that's why a lot of old souls can run into a lot of problems when they realize that society is full of rules and always wants to change you. So old souls constantly live their lives, sometimes running away, not wanting to fit into the mainstream, being fringe dwellers, okay? And that's how it was for me along my early journey. What helped me? Well, the cat down the road. But eventually, old souls really find their true power, okay? What is the eighth baby, baby way old souls experience life differently? They live their life, <laughs> many of them, with their family, their friends not understanding what the hell they are talking about. Like, excuse me? <laughs> because it's like they're living in another dimension. And that's a sign you're an old soul. When you say stuff to your mom, your dad, your brother, your sister, and they're like, uh-uh, okay. But the, but but they don't they don't get what the hell you're talking about. What the heaven you're talking about. They don't know what you're talking about, okay? So many old souls go through life with a lot of people not really understanding or overstanding who they truly are. And that's why sometimes the road can be lonely. The road can be empty. Where did everyone go? But then 
you start meeting a lot of other old souls along the way and that's the best in the world why ralph because you end up having like the most amazing party in the world what is the ninth way old souls live life differently a sign you're an old soul is that you are always a lot of the times on the road like you know home is where the heart is and you are wherever you go however as a nomad you sometimes spend a lot of time in solitude okay that's how old souls live differently because they know what the human game is about and they don't want to sometimes be a part of the mainstream chaos okay so many old souls what happens to them they can be alone in nature i was for a long time but that's how they actually grow they grow their strength okay many old souls live as nomads meaning they travel a lot they're always in different countries or they are going back to geographical regions they can remember from past lives okay like i had to go back to egypt i had to go back to brazil because i'm like i've been here before now pass me the acai <laughs> that's a roller right and now we're good to go right so that's how old souls live differently they're always traveling from different countries sometimes moving different from house to house okay they're never just comfortable they're never stuck in a comfort zone because old souls know so well that comfort zones are illusions comfort zones are traps like a lot of people are like i'm safe in my comfort zone but change is the truth. Therefore, change is the only constant of the universe. And old souls know that, so they never want to get stuck in one place. They they live as nomads, they're always traveling, and that's what makes them wise. Look, whoop, you just fell on your ass. Not so wise right now, right? What is the 10th way old souls live life differently? Now, growing up, as an old soul what i truly discovered is that many old souls have a lot of questions okay while the majority of people on planet earth just accept everything okay old souls are questioning everything what's the moon what's the sun how far away is it what shape is the earth these are old souls who are asking questions because they realize that we're in a game a cosmic game and many people are deceived by just believing anything they hear or anything they see so old souls are always in seek they're always seeking the truth because they know that the truth will piss you off first yes but then it will liberate you how about that so you're an old soul if you're always after the truth, seeking the truth, and that is really what frees you. We love the truth, baby. What's the 11th way old souls experience life differently? Now, when an old soul sees another old soul, oh my days, you're like, I just want to thank everybody. It's not an Oscar speech, right? Just relax, okay? That's what old souls do. They get like super excited when they actually connect with someone who vibes with them on all levels, on all frequencies, okay? It's like, it's so precious to an old soul. When they meet another old soul, they're like, I just love you right now, okay? Because it's rare, like a lot of old souls don't really meet a lot of people who, who they don't really, they don't really meet a lot of people who can really dive deep with them, okay? And that's how old souls experience life differently. They cherish the rare connections they have and they realize how sacred they are. Because it was only a week ago when everybody in the room, they didn't even know what they were talking about, right? And they were the odd one out. Now, when they've seen you, they're like, finally happy. <laughs> And what is a 12th way, baby, baby, old souls experience life differently? Many old souls, and I can attest to this, what's helped me along my journey, because living differently means that I'm not doing things 
I'm not doing what everybody expects I should be doing. <laughs> Many old souls get mad at rules. So they realize that rules were created to be broken. So that's how old souls live differently. They're always breaking rules. If society creates a rule, they'll find a way to break it. Sometimes they can be very rebellious, mischievous. Okay. For me, when I realized, gosh, I'm an old soul, I've been here before. Not only did I stop taking everything so seriously, I started to break a lot of rules. And these aren't just man-made rules. These are rules and limitations which I place on myself that, that I can't do this, I have to do this, okay? So old souls are always about going to the next level by breaking rules which are illusions and creating a whole new world, which is their mindset through their belief system to attract whatever they want. And that's what makes them super duper powerful beings. And then, well, you'll just say, feel so good to be alive, baby. Can I get a hello? Yeah. Beautiful deep divers. We are out here in the heart of nature, just, woo. Breathing in that good ass prana, baby. Shout out to all the marvelous old souls out there. And we are all old souls. It's just that if you remember their power, have a beautiful day. The beach is that way. Infinite waters diving deep once again. Let's just. And old souls love to breathe in that good ass prana, baby. Have a beautiful day. Stay well. Stay healthy. Peace. You. <laughs> Being an old soul kicks us.